Hello and welcome. In this lecture, we will download Veritas Cluster Server software from Veritas. In order to download the software, open your favorite web browser with the favorite search engine. In the search engine, type Veritas InfoScale Download. Press Enter. Once you have on the screen, you will see first link which tells you to download trial version. Click on this link. Here you will have to enter the information about email, company and country etc. Once the information is completed, click on submit. After pressing the submit button, you will see this page. We will scroll down to the bottom of the page and look for 7.4.2 InfoScale CentOS. Here you have two versions. One is 1.8 GB, another is 1.5 GB. The first one is actually an ISO file. The other one is a GZIP compressed file. We will download the compressed file and then we will transfer it to our server one. In order to download the software, simply click on download now. The download will start. It will take a while depending on the internet speed you have. Once the downloading process is completed, we will transfer this downloaded file to server one. Our file has been downloaded. Now it's time to transfer this file to our remote server, which is server one. Since I'm using a MOBA XTERM, MOBA XTERM has a built-in SFTP connection module. All I have to do is drag this file into the SFTP window. And release it. You can see at the bottom after dragging the file, the file is being uploaded to the remote server. If in case you do not have Mobile XTERM installed, you can choose a different third party software such as FileZilla to transfer the files. If in case you are in Mac operating system, you can use SCP command. First, you will have to navigate to the download directory where you downloaded the file, then type SCP file name, then a root at the rate IP address of server one, then colon forward slash. This command will transfer your file from the download directory to root account at server one under the root directory. We have successfully transferred the file. If I do LL, we can see we have gunzipped file, which is Veritas InfoScale 7.4.2. Now let's decompress this file first. Since this is a gzipped file, we will use gunzip utility. We will type gunzip and then the name of the file. Press enter. This will take a while to uncompress the file. Once uncompressed, then we will untar this file. Okay. If I do ll, we have the Veritas info scale without the .zz extension. Now we will untar this file. So in order to untar, I will type tar dash xvf and then the file name. Press enter. Our utility is doing its work to uncompress the setup files. Let's clear the screen. Now do listing again by LL and press enter. Here we have DVD1 Red Hat Linux directory. In the next lecture, we will do prerequisite checks for our systems to make sure we are able to install Veritas InfoScale without any issues.